don't talk, just, just cut. Less talky, more stabby. Yeah, less talky, more stabby. People are really lucky that they can't smell this. Oh my god, that is so disgusting. It's like poo. It's not like they smell that poo. Thankfully, the tiger bite on my nostril seems to be working. That yeah, what is that? It's the stomach. That's Ooh, a bobtail. It's a bobtail! It was a bobtail! I was right! Oh my god, that's terrible. Is it a baby bobtail or is it a whole bobtail? It's a young bobtail. Oh my god. There we go. Gut contents of a very large snake. Of the one that Lisa caught yesterday. Oh. Seriously, people, this is the most disgusting thing you will ever smell in your life. But Lisa was right on the money that it was a baby bobtail that it ate. Holy jewelry. I have tiger bum under my nose and that's working. It's not working for me. <sighs> I wonder what that means. I think that's the entire contents of its stomach. Well, it's going to be a very big stomach to uh, accommodate a whole bobtail. No wonder if something was trying to eat its way in. Or eat its way out. Or eat its way out. I know. I was wondering whether it was trying to get out. I tell oh. I'm uh, not any type of veterinary surgeon. We also don't have a proper knife. Yeah, it's okay. We won't we won't be making any dinner with this anytime soon, just so you know. Mm, that looks like it's about to shit. It's got loose scales on it. What is that? Hmm. Your um, head torch is kind of annoying, but you can turn it off if you need to. No, yeah, that's alright. Just light up this side and then I fixed it. Ugh. I don't think we're going to get much in the way of uh, stuff that it's eaten. No, but, but out of curiosity for people who are interested in wanting to know what's inside a snake, it might be really interesting to actually cut it through. So, we'll see how we go. My arm's getting a bit sore. Oh, come on. Toughen up. We're stinky. It's already stinky enough. We might as well finish the job. So get a close up of the head. Um, there's its fang. Yep. So that's the uh, venom injection method from that uh, rear facing fixed front fang. Pretty big. Um, if it is a mulga, which we think it might be. A, extremely rare for the hills. B, brown snakes, you dewlites. Don't have fangs that are probably Oops. that big. Whoops, I just, oh, I cut its fang off. We should keep that. No, also too bright. Yeah, we'll get that later. Oop, now it fell off. Okay, crap. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> Where's this other one? Sorry, bad videoing here. What's in its mouth? Is that just its? That's its uh, esophagus. Its esophagus is like. I think it was run over. So here's the insides. Ooh, you can see their uh, elongated anatomy. Not that I really know what any of this stuff is, but. So they have a lung. That'll be a lung, I think. So there's a lung. Oops, or a liver. That's, yep, and then so their heart's a bit further up. 
So basically, the, the majority of the snake's essential body organs are kept in the first third of the snake, as you can see. Uh, the top half, the bottom half of the snake is really just its Poo. liver, you know, just the intestines where it helps to maneuver the thing down. But this is just really out of curiosity for anybody that's curious about snake anatomy. And since we're already like dying here from the stench, we might as well finish the job and fill in our, uh, our viewers on you're making a bloody mess of this. I tell you what, you just cut through its the heart and the note to self: don't let Adam do the taxidermy of any kind of animal. Or the Christmas turkey. Oh, yeah. I'd obviously have a sharper knife then anyway. So, just keeping in mind, this thing's only 24 hours old. Brigham Mortis hasn't set in, even though it was in the sun for 24 hours. Okay. And we got some little bits and pieces. I think that is its trachea. Mm -hmm. um, Where's its heart? Where's its heart? So the heart is there. I can't see, sorry. So everything's elongated. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, people. This is a pretty gory video. Yeah, so that's uh, just muscle and stuff, I guess. I don't really know. If there's any vets on there that are watching this, Feel free to comment below what bits you see. Um, there's many books and stuff as I've read. I still don't know what anything is. Not when I cut it open anyway. Well, we don't generally cut the snakes open. We usually try and keep these things as dead. I'm quite interested to see though that the bobtail that it's eaten has had its head munched. From what you can see. Well, I think it's more digested. Acids and stuff. Oh, yeah, it's acids pretty, are starting to digest it. Yeah, it's pretty soft and squishy because the head goes first. But you could feel that, but yesterday when I caught it, you could feel the head and the shape of the head, which is why that looks like a worm. So has it got intestinal worms there? See there? Mm -hmm. On the side? Oh, so yeah. it could have some intestinal worms. Thing there. Parasites. So snakes do obviously have parasites. <laughs> So should we cut up the bobtail, see what that, that's been eating? Mm, no, no, we won't do that. I think we're good. Alright, well, sorry for the blood and guts and bones and insides of animals. Um, but if this is actually a King Brown or a Mulga, like um, I'm suspecting, it's a pretty significant find. They're very, very, very rare in the Perth Hills. I've only heard of one report and that was about 15, 20 years ago and not even in this spot. So we'll um. So well done, Lisa, for catching up. <laughs> so we'll send uh send off some photos to the museum and stuff, and, and some other snake experts and get it identified, and um. Yeah, we'll let you know how we go. Now we're going to uh, barbecue it. <clears throat> Yum. What's for dinner? Joking. See you guys.